Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Realms of Conflict. Uh, I'm here with Mark. Hey. And he is back with Grotz. We have flipped the script now and the Grotz are invading. <laughs> There's a Grot revolution coming from my poor Azirian Thunderguard. Um, my alliance of ogres, dwarves, elves, and stormcasts, which are sort of like the city watch of uh, Azir, which is the big realm of heavens city that Sigmar controls. Um, we're going to be playing Sudden Assault. So again, we've, like I said, flipped the script uh, and I am on the defensive. I'm the custodian now. Our beachhead realm gate. Um, is being in, in Garan is being attacked by a whole horde of grots and things don't look good. So this is Battle Plan Sudden Assault from the Age of Sigmar rulebook. Um, we're going to take a look at the table, the armies, the setup, and then get started. So here we have the grots. What do we got for heroes? <clears throat> uh, goblin Warboss, mm -hmm. Night Goblin Shaman, Orc Bully, and then we got uh, a Doom Diver. Doom Diver again. Uh, 15 man unit of Night Goblins. With command? With command. Yep. Uh, 21 Unit of Night Goblins. Some of them have nets. And then we've got uh, four, four fanatics. fanatics and ten and wolf, riders. wolf Riders. So there it is. There is the Grot Horde. It is uh, seven to eight War Scrolls, uh, one to three heroes. There are no monsters involved. And yeah, 80 wounds. And here is my Stormcast Eternals, the Azirian Thunderguard. I have a Lord Celestant, Lord Relictor as my two heroes. Um, and then for my units, I have a five man unit of Liberators, five man unit of Liberators, four man unit of Azirian Thunderguard. It's my Iron Gut unit from Azir. Um, I have a Gigante. He will eventually turn into two more guys in this unit. Um, and then I, I want to add a Wizard as well, because I really want a Wizard in my army. Um, and I got a unit of Prosecutors and a three man unit of Retributors, and that is 80 wounds, eight scrolls, um, and I think that's it. No monsters. So here we have Sudden Assault. I am on the defense of this time against the marauding hordes of Grotz. Um, and the way this will work is, there are two different uh, command abilities for us. Now mine is the Custodian. I get Relentless Purpose. My general surges towards the enemy. I can reroll all units from my army that are within 12, um, and they can, sorry, within 12 of my guy can reroll runs and charges if I use this command ability. Um, and then the invader, uh, if he uses his, he can reroll all his to field hit rolls until his next hero phase. So his general gets more killy, mine can pull guys along and make them faster. And the battlefield setup, the invader's territory is half the table. And then the custodian, every time he goes back and forth deploying a unit, because we do alternating deployment here with the armies that we've selected, um, we will have to roll a dice on a one or a two. I have to be 24 inches away, so I have to be basically 12 inches from my edge. On a three, four, um, I can be up to 18 inches from my edge. And on a five, six, I can be up to 24 away. So basically my guys will be staggered coming in. Now luckily I have a Thunderstrike Brotherhood, which would mean that there's only really two units I have to roll this for, but it could mean that I'd be far away at the beginning of the game. Raiders get some special rules. They get a reinforcement rule. Once per game, they can set up a new unit that was previously destroyed. So if I wipe out one of his units, basically what he wants to do is pick the unit with the highest wound total, and he's gonna get them as bonus wounds in this mission. So like that 21 man unit or even that 20 man unit of Wolf Riders could come in as reinforcements. The Wolf Riders yeah. are a pretty likely candidate if they get wiped out early. And he means he can be fairly reckless with them as well um, and then bring them back later on. And that will be basically reinforcements. So he gets kind of a wound bonus in this one. Um, the uh, summoners, sorry, the, the custodians get a wizard bonus. I don't have a wizard, <laughs> but I can give bonuses to my, my saves against, um, against shooting. Uh, quite possibly, but I don't have a wizard, so I'm not going to be getting that one. And then victory is simple. We have to just try and destroy each other. If the custodian has at least a third more models than the enemy, though, um, the invader will get a major victory if at least one of his starting models is still in play at the end of the sixth battle round. Now, he has way more guys than me, though, so that's not going to be in play. Because I think I only have a grand total of 17, 18, 22 models. And I think you have more than that in just one of your units. <laughs> so, yeah. so I think we're pretty much um, not be using that victory condition. So this will be to the death. So here's our table set up. We have some ruins, some forests, some hills. Um, it is a 6x4 table. We're using one of the great mats from Frontline Gaming. This Swamp Mat is possibly my favorite mat that I own. I use it for a lot of stuff. Um, and then some awesome ruins by Homebrew World. Some awesome um, right, sort of uh, rubbly, rocky terrain features by Greenleaf Terrain. And some woods that were made by me many moons ago. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> let's roll some dice uh, and see what our terrain is. So roll for this woods. Uh, now, once again, we are using these great markers from Litco. So this is going to be a sinister forest. Guys, are guys fear uh, this hill. It's going to be a inspiring one, so we feel braver as we stand next to it. Uh, this wood over here is going to also be inspiring. These are some very bravely brave woods. I love these markers because they actually say what they do on them. So this uh, building is going to be a three, so also inspiring. Uh, we've got another building over here. I've yet to run out of tokens. You have six of each. 
two. So that's gonna be arcane. So plus Ooh. plus one to cast. There's some magic-y residue in this one. Uh, this six. That's also gonna be sinister. So fear causing wood. There's some spooky woods around here, man. Uh, this building is gonna be a five, which is mystical. Oh, the mystical. We love mystical because mystical is one where you reroll wounds if you become ensorcelled, or you could be dumb. Uh, the pool, pool five. It's gonna be mystical oh, as well. You're Nobody this wants to drink the mystical pool. <laughs> well, no, I'm just gonna walk away from it. I don't even think I could use this one. Uh, the no, we're hill. You're gonna make me pick that. Stuff, Pro so probably use, yes. And then this one over here. Five, also mystical. At least we have one forest. I think we have that thing over there too. And yeah, and a power ox. So two. two. That's gonna arcane. be arcane. So magical, and then this power ox is going to be mystical as well. So there's, man, there's a lot of terrain on the table that causes stupidity. <laughs> if you roll one within three inches of it, you just become befuddled. Right. Custodian picks his side, and I have a Thunderstrike Brotherhood models here, so I'm gonna get to just say I deploy them in space, and that will be fine. Um, and see where he drops right up until I'm out of uh, Thunderstrike Brotherhood units. So I'm going to pick, let's say this side is mine, over here. And then you'll deploy over there. I will deploy my Lord Celestant in space. Yeah, you know, 21 Goblins is hanging out next to the Arcane Woods. Now we'll be back after deployment, we're gonna ante. I'm gonna do my next one, Lord Rockter, also in space, so he puts on another unit, but we'll be back after we finish deployment and show where everything is. All right, so here, Sudden Assault, my patrol of Thunder Guard, hanging out in this woods, minding their own business with their buddy the giant, they're gonna have to get in the space radio and call in some Stormcast. Um, they get ambushed by goblins! So there is a bully with a Doom Diver back here. We got a big unit of night goblins. Um, the, where's the boss? Uh, He's around here somewhere, uh, isn't he? Shaman's over there. Oh, there's the Shaman right there. Uh, we've got a unit of wolf riders. Now they're not, they are a git mob. The keyword for these guys is moon clan yeah. and git mob. So moon clan is all of the former night goblins and git mobs are all the regular goblins. And the war boss over here with this big cutter is hanging out with this unit with nets. You may notice a distinct lack of fanatics. Mark can hide fanatics in any Moon Clan units, so that would be either of these two big Night Goblin mobs. Um, and during any charge phase, mine or his, place them within one inch of a Moon Clan unit and they immediately get to charge. So it's a bit like the old fanatics and it's a unit of four of them. So they just show up and charge. I'm gonna take the second battle round and try and see where stuff is gonna go. Right, so hero phase, what would you like to use as your command ability? Uh, using the boss ability, I'm the boss now. Stab him good on this uh, get mob over. It's not get mob um, moon clan unit. Basically, all rolls to s of uh, of wound of six that fail armor saves will do double damage for this unit now. So they do two wounds instead of one uh, when they roll a six to uh, to wound. Mystic shield from the goblin shaman. Who are you using on? Uh... On the, the wolf riders on the makes sense. So you need a six plus, uh, five see. plus because this building is arcane. Also eat madcap mushrooms. On a two plus, he gets plus two to cast as well. On a one though, he's basically paralyzed for the rest of the turn because the mushroom gives him a tummy ache. He's good. Four, so he gets seven. plus three to cast right now, needing a six. So don't roll snake eyes. <laughs> but bam, can't unbind that. Mystically shielded. Hero phase no, is over. Ten. Running the wolves, they get to reroll runs though because they have a fleet. Add, add two. Oh, add two. So even I better. can actually run eight. What? <laughs> so you go twenty inches this turn. So you're going five plus ten is sorry five plus twelve is seventeen inches. They are zippy fast. Everybody moving into some terrain. Running. Two, so like uh, seven. Okay. Night goblins are on there. Sorry, the goblin fries are on the building over here. Moon clan going uh, we'll seven inches. Yeah, the back guy won't quite make it. So they are at the end of their run. General's gonna run two. He's gonna go three. seven as well. Sorry, yeah, he's moving to five. No, no, he's moving to five. Yeah, we just looked at him. The boss is not in the War Scroll app, but he is in the War Scroll compendium that you can download from the site. So he was strangely missing, but I found him online and we, yeah, we I just took a screenshot of it. So we have his rules. Snake Goblin's gonna run. Sorry, Moon Clan gonna run. Yeah. Get a Moon uh, Clan. So they go. They can go 11 inches this turn. They are at the end of their move. Just wrapped around the building, still in cover, and we got the shaman. What's he want to do? He just needs to move five. I still want to keep him in the arcane. Sure. Just walking over. Yeah. He's be like over there. there. It is the shooting time. We've got some doom diver. It doesn't even need line of sight. So what's it going to shoot at? Uh, we'll try for the ogres. That <laughs> probably a good idea. I ain't got time. So it's on a three. Does it? He picks another unit in my army that it hits instead, because he gets to flap. No nope. charges. We go to the bottom half of the first battle round, and I can choose if I want to thunder strike in or not. Thunder, thunder, thunder strike! Ho! 
All right, we're gonna liberate. I'm gonna drop some liberators down in behind. I'm sick of this bully. He's been bullying the grots too long. I have to be nine inches away from him. All right, the prosecutors and the Lord Relic are hanging out in this hill right here. It's inspiring. Relic is gonna hang out in this building or this tree. Sorry, and also be inspired. Readers showing up next to this building, nine inches away from the Wolf Riders. So all I have left is a single unit of liberators that can storm strike in, and then I'm gonna have to move my other stuff. So, you know, liberators basically towing, but not quite able to fit them all within cover, um, and within not be within nine of the building. So that's all my guys storm striking in. I can now get to move my gigante and my ogres. My ogres go for six. So thunder yard, moving on up. Actually, they're gonna run. Yeah, they're gonna run. Three six. Thank you. So six plus two. So two more. Just to thread a little bit more. Gigante, he's gonna move eight. Six, and then two more. So it should be where the ogres are. Yeah, just about. That ends the movement phase. It is shooting phase time. Now you'll notice I didn't get a hero phase in any of my storm casts, so I don't get to use any of their hero abilities right now. But I can do some shooting attacks, and the liberator, sorry, the prosecutors, and try and kill this pesky mage. Six shots, fours, rerolling ones. Didn't roll any ones, there's three hits. And then I've got fours to wound. Come on, fours. One, one regular save, you get plus one to your save because you're in cover. This plus goes to five plus because he's in cover. Gets it. Oh. All right, Drake off breath. We're gonna pick a point right here within 12 uh, so that both these units get hit. The Night Goblin Shaman. Boop, missed, and the goblins themselves get hit. D3 mortal wounds. Two, so that's gonna be two dead goblins. Two moonkin, sorry, I get taken off. Moonkin grot. Shooting phase complete, we're gonna charge. All right, we already measured Gigante here. He's just over eight inches away from that uh, guy on a wolf. Right, so I need an eight or better with my giants, because it's eight and a bit away. That's a three, he's not gonna charge. Uh, we might as well try and hit the nine here with the, pro the liberators. Boom, they get it. need an 11 to get in, which they do not get. The Lord Relicter got exactly a nine. He's gonna try and charge. He's seven, so he's gonna fail. Uh, I think that's it for guys I wanna have charge over here. Much would like you guys to roll a nine and charge this bully. Do it! Nope. Um, and then last but not least, the um, Retributors on a nine. So I have one unit to pick a fight with, and it's gonna be these guys. They're gonna pile in three inches. Three inches, three inches, three inches. And then three inches over like so. Liberators getting 11 attacks on the Wolf Riders. They hit on fours, taking away the ones, twos, and threes, and then they wound on threes. That will be four wounds, no risk. Five will save. His shield's given plus one if there's more than five models. He has Mystic Shield, and he's in cover. So two plus saves on these Wolf Riders. That's something I wasn't expecting. One wound, and the two wounds each. Pile in, three inches. Uh, actually, so a six inch pile in, that's crazy. <laughs> So go ahead and pile in everybody, it looks like. Honestly, I can probably... It's towards the nearest model, so you're gonna get stuck at some point, but I think they have two inch reach with their spears. So hitting on fives, he's got nine attacks here. One extra for the boss. There's three. Mm. Wounding on fours. Fours, yeah, I believe, yes. They're stabbing spears. Two. two. Uh oh. All right, so I no don't get any kind of cover bonus. There's yeah, no right. end. So just a four plus re-rolling ones. Uh, I don't reroll that, so I take only seven wolves fighting, because they only have a one inch reach. Oh, yeah. Ironically, better fighters than the goblins, so on fours and fours, they will hit and wound. Hey. Which I love. Once season threes go away. Looks like okay. a little more. Okay. And then four to wound. Looks like five. Yep. Okay, four plus, re-rolling ones. Roll to one. Whoa, lose two whole guys. So these two. I was wounded already, so he has to come off. Ends the first battle round with Battle Shock. Uh, so I took two casualties. I'm in an inspiring building, though. So I'm currently Bravery 7. So that's six. I'm good. So You're fine. I lost over there, though. Uh, what'd you lose? Two, two guys, guys, that's right. Because I know you shooting. That's correct. So what is your courage? Uh, or bravery, rather, sorry? Bravery 4. And so oh, actually, uh... D6 plus two, don't beat a four. You can get one or two, not for He needs to roll a one or a two here to not have some goblins run away. So D6 plus two, that's gonna be four, you're good. Let's kind of want initiative here. Second battle round, I'm not going first. <laughs> right, grot hero phase, what are we doing there, Moon Clan Warboss? So 
using I'm the boss, cut him good as his command ability on this unit of moon clan. So they get to uh, roll a six to wound and they do double damage. First the bad move from the shaman because I couldn't kill him no matter how hard I oh, tried. So I first have to see if I get my mushrooms. Oh, that's right, your magic mushrooms. Don't roll one. Yay. Three. He's good. So he has plus three to cast right now because he's in an arcane building as well. So I'm going to pick, so I have to pick a model. Yep. So I will pick that guy. That prosecutor? Okay. Yeah. And then you roll 2d6. You need an eight here, but you get plus three. So you need a five. That's going to be an 11. No, nothing to unbind with because <laughs> I still haven't painted a wizard for this army. <laughs> Two mortal wounds on the unit. So that's three plus to kill somebody. So three wounds. So one guy's got a floating wound. Both these guys are uh, within six, and that means that you'll have to roll dice for them and see if they get hit too. The Relictor. Four plus. So he's gonna take D3 mortal wounds as well. And yeah, and then so he takes one. one. So he's got six left, and then the Lord Rel sorry, the Lord Pro Celestant. No, he's not. No, he uh, because of my giant wings, this guy's <laughs> actually in range of the ogres too. On a four plus take D3. And yes, D3 mortal wounds. On six. Two. So one's, one's got two left. Phase is over, time to run! Run, little goblin, run! I'm gonna get you later. He's gonna literally run, like he said he was gonna do. Like the goblin he is. So he's gonna run eight this turn and go uh, hide ten. behind a wall. A, oh, that's right, yeah, he's five. Yeah, he can run ten. Peace, we're out! So you can basically come back Peace. here. Peace! So these night goblins leaving the building, heading towards the... Uh, Retrovators. Yeah. The uh, moon clan, conga lining in the building, and I think we're gonna do something much the same over here. Yeah. Boss move the general first. So yeah, so your gonna... moon clan war boss moving out there. And the goblins. I'm so gonna get fanatic. And there's the grots coming through the woods. Pretty just shuffle in here so that Zippy can get in terrain and be plus one armor saved. This phase, Doom Diver, where are you gonna Doom Dive? <clears throat> so going to shoot the uh, good old prosecutors on a three plus. Nope, four plus gets to pick another unit though. Come on. Oh. Nope. This phase over. We gotta pick some charges. So we've got two units clearly wanting to charge here, and you could also do some other stuff at the top of your phase. So nice placing them with one inch, yep. So here we go with some fanatics going after my retribute. We'll now immediately charge. Let's see how far they go. Looks like they need a five or a six. Ooh, two. That's no. snake eyes. They're not charging. Well, for anyway, you have to move clear, just... way around. You just roll and see if you get something in range. So if you get so box got, cars, that's five, five inches. They're not gonna make it anyway, because they need at least a seven. And then your war boss, does he wanna do something? Uh there's Yappy where he is. Goblins, you wanna go get the retributors? Yep. Okay, you need a six. That's five. not a six. Let's just double check. Yeah, it's it's more than five and a half. Actually, hang on, because my, my hammer's here. No, you're gonna make it. You made it, because my hammer's sticking out like this. So you can go five. And be right in range of my hammer. The unit can still move five. You can pile them in. Okay, so we have two combats to pick from for you to go first with either the wolf riders or these goblins. I would recommend you do the goblins first. Plowing on in. Three inches. It's towards the closest, but it doesn't matter. That guy's still, he's still towards that guy who is closest. All right, so they're all piled in and they do have a two inch engagement because spears. So that should put everybody back to about, I'd say here. In range. It's 40s, including the champer out, but everybody else is in. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five or better. What? Angry goblins. Sorry, grots. We'll say that one hit. And then you've got four stones or five stones? Four with the spears. Okay. So four stones with spears. Not terrible, two. two. All right, so I'm in cover. So my four plus save becomes a three plus. Saving on a three. One, let's take a wound. Okay, so I could fight with them, but obviously they've already attacked now. So I think I'm just gonna go right over the liberators and try and deny some attacks over here. So I'm gonna have a grand total of seven attacks. Hitting on fours, winning on threes against the wolf boys. So fours to hit, and then threes to wound. Hammer time! One. Three plus save now, because of plus two from his shields, because he has ten guys, and being in cover. So one save, three plus, or he did lose a guy. Yeah! All right, so that uh, yeah, shield bonus is now gone, which is super important, and wounded dude is pulled off. That shield thing, if they have five or more guys, which is amazing. Well, get to fight. There's nine of them left. Is there any point in, I don't think I could really maneuver anything. Uh... Um, these guys could probably pile within two. Like, he could definitely go like this, and this guy could go like this, and get within two inches, I'm pretty sure. 19 attacks, because of the plus one attack from the champion. It's the wolves that have two attacks each. It's only nine attacks from the, um, the guys on top. Nine sitting on fives, and then winning on fours. So there's one. Yeah. Winning on a four. Wounds. All right, so I get a four plus. Uh, I am now in cover legitimately. Um, so that's going to be a four plus, three plus, 
So far, anyway. Teen Wolf attacks, fours and fours. At the top of the second battle round. Just the hits. And then four storm wolves mounts more dangerous <laughs> than their riders, as has always been the case in Warhammer since forever. Uh, three, uh, so four, yeah, three. All right, so once again, three pluses. Well, four pluses, but plus one. And no re rolls here because I can't roll a one. But I make them all. all right, attributors, do what you do best. Seven attacks. They hit on threes, wound on threes. But if I roll a six to hit, it's just two mortal wounds because they lightning strike you. So let's just roll seven sixes and delete the unit. <laughs> Bam. There's one, so that's just two mortal wounds, and then all of these hits, and then they wound on threes. There's two more wounds. So, so one, one is just two dead guys, oh, two and then this is at rend one. Two on sixes here. Cranks one, loses two more guys, so four guys explode. They paste four goblins. So battle shock tests for the end of the first battle round in turn two. Uh, so I've killed one guy in the wolf rider unit, and four guys in the night goblin, or sorry, the, the, was it the the Moon Clan mob over here. I think these names right. Uh, so this will be D6 plus four. What's your bravery? So you have to get less than four here, so you're just taking D6 casualties, basically. Two more. Two, Two more guys flee. And they're pulled off, and now we go over to here. So what's the bravery on your wolf points? You take D6 minus three casualties here, basically, because you've taken one, and your bravery's four. More, oh, so three guys blow up. Right at the end of the round. My Lord Celestin is going to use Lord of the Host. Um, and activate that so that uh, friendly Stormcast units within 24 inches do not make Battleshock tests. He is just going to do a healing storm because why would I do anything else? Because nobody in range. I get it off. D3. I go back up to 7. It's one. Yeah. He's only, he only took one wound. So the simple moving stuff first. These fellas going to move up 5. Come get the bully. Hey, bully, treat them better. <laughs> so we know that I need to basically roll a 4 here because I was 5 inches or I was 9 inches away when I had to play. Prosecutor's going to fly. I think 12, so there I go, 6, and then 6 again. Can't run, can't run from us! Get back here, you! Alright, Lord Andrekov, he goes 10, so he's going to go 6, and then 4 more over to here. And he's going to stay towing this wood. Gigante's coming to party, he goes 8 right now. So goes 6, and then 2 more. He's just got to stay 3 inches away from the uh, these guys. Yeah. Because he can't be in melee with them already. No, he's good. <laughs> like, let's get relevant and maybe run again. So we're gonna go ten, uh, six, and four. So stay again, staying three inches away from you, basically in this building. And they ran this drink. You grab me a run marker. He's gonna run. He's gonna run eight total. He only moves four. He's like crazy slow. And he's gonna go two, and then two more, and just go touch this wood. Be like, what's up, y'all? I'm got a clock. We're gonna chuck some hammers at dangerous wizard over here. On fours, we're rolling ones, cause celestial hammers, and then wounding on fours. And we managed to get you twice. Two saves. It's five or six because you were in the Five twice. Takes two. Celestent with his Dracoth. He's gonna pick a point right in between these three units right here. So that all three get hit. Three war boss. Yep, D3 mortal wounds. Takes three. He's got one left. Six. Four plus. They get hit, D3, two. That's two wounds, I think that's two guys. Two guys. Uh, and then the unit of Moon Clan, four plus, they get hit two, and D3, it's gonna be one. So just one goblin from anywhere. That's all the guns, we're gonna charge Gigante. <laughs> of course not. Don't do what he did, I'm getting rid of these dice. And we're gonna roll something better for you guys. Yeah, that's right, you're going eight, so they're gonna fly into the Shaman over here. What's up, Shaman? Welcome to Hammer Town. Population us. Should need a five over here. That's a oh, nine. I'm all kinds of in range. Uh, like so. Like so. Uh, we're gonna put you into the crew. We're gonna put you two into the machine. Lord Celestin, you're gonna get into those wolf boys. Nine inches. It's lots of room. So nine inches will take you to here. Allison's gonna do his thing. D3 on the charge. So his Tempestus Hammer is getting six stacks this turn. Hitting on threes, wounded on twos. D3 wins per hit. So that's going to be threes. Take away the ones, and then twos to wound. Tempestus Hammer! There you go, four wounds, run minus one. Uh, so still have your shield bonus, still have cover. Uh, so yeah, just a four plus. Do it! Makes plus one, D3. Takes two, so that's one dead guy. Gets three attacks, hit on threes. 
Wounding on threes. Sixes are big though. Nope, but one save. Minus one rend. So, four good. Good. Which unit would you like to do next? Uh, Realize he should have one more wolf rider here because this was so an inspiring building. Shot. That's right. Building. These goblins next, trying to pile in and hurt my. Uh, they have two inch reach, so you can just move them forward. Um, try and hurt my retributors before they get to swing. Eight attacks, fives and fours. Hits. That'll be one. <laughs> Forced <laughs> wounds. Too bad they're not riding wolves. Yeah. <laughs> one wound. Four plus armor becomes three plus. Nope, take a wound down to one. I think I'm gonna do the uh, liberators next because I need these guys whittled down before they fight me. So that's gonna be a grand total of seven attacks again. Hitting on fours, wounding on threes, my hammers. So fours, and then threes. Two, two saves, uh, no rend, so you get your three plus again because your shields, and cover. Good. And the crew over here left, and also your shaman. Oh if, he, if he can cause one wound oh, here, he's gonna kill this guy. He realizes his bad wound stats way better than he thought it was. <laughs> ah, <stunned> damn. <laughs> over here now, because um, these guys haven't swung yet. So I have two guys. How many wounds does this fellow have? Four. Quite enough wounds to activate my Layla the Tyrants. So five attacks into him from the, the prime and the one guy. Hit on fours, moving on threes. One hit. Doesn't wound. Uh, now this thing has what, eight wounds? Well, it has four. And oh, it only has, has four? four? Okay, so nothing's activating my actual like awesome rule of awesome. So. Two guys, four attacks into the machine. One hit, we got three. Nope, or actually, yep, one save. Five plus, four plus now, because he's in cover. Yep, he's good. And then the crew, uh, getting swung against with two attacks, fours, nothing. So the crew into my dudes, I guess. Yeah. They can pile in, yep. To there. Mm. I guess this guy counts as one. <laughs> yeah, I imagine the actual Doom Diver does too. Yeah, there's four goblins there fighting. Yeah. So five and fives, I think. Fives and fives. They're really crappy. One, One. and a five. Well, they're not really equipped for this. Yeah. <laughs> no attacks here in this night goblin unit. Again, if I roll a bunch of sixes, goblin unit explode. So <laughs> threes and threes. So that's six mortal wounds. So six guys just come off. I could always seven. Uh, and then these are on threes. Six, seven, Make one more at minus one. Unit deleted. <laughs> Bully, or you want to do your wolf boys? Wolf boys can either swing on the Lord Celestins or swing on my Liberators. So he's splitting his attacks like this: four dudes into the Lord Celestin, these two into the um, the, the Liberators. So you can do the wolves first: fours and fours, eight attacks. Because this is his best chance to kill Lord Celestin with this unit. Was not bad. And then forced wounds. Because if uh, the battle round ends, I all of a sudden ugh, it's only one. I'll have a two plus save in in the cover. I'm going to include the champion in two. The same thing, fives, fives and fours, not wolf attacks, and then two goblin attacks. Four wolves. So two, two. and then fours. Once again, one more. One more. Three plus, good. And then two. Two more, that's right. One. one. Wounds. One wound. Uh oh, can't reroll ones either, so take a wound. There's a wound marker down. Pick the prosecutors to go next, uh, including the prime, they have five attacks. Hitting on threes, rerolling ones. Wounding on threes. That will be two wounds, two saves. You're in cover, so that's fives. Get him or you're dead! You need one here. Yeah, you need one. One, one to live. Negative. He gets exploded. Around, Mr. Bully's gonna try and attack my liberators. Fours and fours. Alright, fours and fours. Two attacks. Cracks me twice. Nice. Wings me twice. Fours. One, take a wound. This ends battle round two. Top of three, very important initiative roll for all battle of us. Shock. Oh, that's right, you do have some battle shock, sorry. I forgot about battle shock. I because I didn't kill anything. anything. Um, <laughs> and then, well, the unit that I was thinking was deleted. So, battle shock actually for the fanatics. Uh, yeah, so they are. 10, they can't actually fail. Who else is here that is battle uh, shock? They one? lost one to your shooting. Okay, and, and they are bravery four. Uh, yep. So it'll be d6 minus three, basically running away. So if you forgot this building was mystical, again, I'm going to roll for them. They would have rerolled wounds, but it wouldn't have done anything. Um, and he hasn't had a hero phase next to this yet, because they all walked well, they over to it. Three, yeah, roll for the night and see what happened. Nope, they would have been stupid, they wouldn't even have fought me. So it's a good thing they didn't cause any wounds. This wound wouldn't be here. Guys would have two wounds left, because that wound he caused this turn wouldn't have been there. Five right now, because this building's inspiring on them, so you're fine. Initial test, let's do this. Die oh. tied again. I have not won initiative against you yet. Got it! Hero phase, I'm gonna drop Lord of the Host again. Make myself mean to Battleshock in range. 
Uh, and then Mr. Lord Relictor is going to drop. He's going to call down the lightning on these guys. Three plus. That Yance can take D3 mortal wounds. Nope. Fails. All right. El Gigante. He's going to go his eight. And he's just going to end his move outside of three. You can still come within three of a unit. You just can't end within three of it um, when you are making your move. And that way. And it's model, not base. So again, this looks like I'm close, but I'm actually not. No, I'm too close. I'll have to go backwards like this. Just make sure that tail's not in range. No, I'm good now. All right, Iron Guts, get relevant. <laughs> Again, you guys also have to stay outside of three, but I think you should have no, no problem doing that. Yeah, maybe over here, and over here, and over here, and over here. This guy's got two wounds. Uh, we need to roll for this unit, see if the stuff goes crazy. Oh, they're stupid. They're not going anywhere. Attack this turn, which is terrible. Uh, and then the prosecutors are going to fly their 12. So six, and then, whoops, six more to there, like so. Roger's going to continue his waddle. I guess he'll run again, because, like, <laughs> why wouldn't I? Because I'm so freaking slow. Ten! Oh, there, go. there we go. Picking up steam. He's very short over short distances. Very dangerous over short distances. Yeah. <laughs> and then four more. They're just going to maintain hugging this, uh, this tree line. Shooting phase. The all-important shooting phase. Let's do some hammers into these two fanatics that are remaining. So that will be four shots. On fours, rerolling ones. From the prosecutors, there's two ones I can reroll. Two hits, wounding on fours. One wound, one save. You get plus one cover. Yeah, an interesting one. Um, they don't have a save. They can't roll a dash. So even though they're in cover, they don't get armor. This is like the first time I've seen this happen. Normally everything's at least got a six plus save, but fanatics just don't get a save. So you can't roll a dash, and that means that because it covers a dice modifier, there's no cover saves. You're just pulling off. Okay, uh, Drake off breath right here again. So all these units on a four plus take D3 mortal wounds. So the all important war boss, not hit. The uh, fanatic, not hit. And then the night goblin unit, which I didn't care about at all, gets hit <laughs> and takes D3 and takes two. Two. Ugh, both these guys had one wound! Okay, charges. Let's start with the Ogor. Need a three here. They get a five, so they got lots of room. So this guy's gonna go in. Everybody else is just gonna, they have two inch reach, so everyone else is just gonna like move towards you. But they don't need to be in melee. Because they will, they will reach out for their friends and hit you with their giant like tree trimmers. <laughs> a big roll here, that's what I need, big roll! Eight. And he makes it into this mess. Don't need to roll for anybody else, and we're gonna do the giant first. 3d6 attacks with my club, because I'm not wounded yet, into the goblin unit. Threes and threes run minus one. So I get to do 12 attacks. Which is a netter, which is cool. So I'm minus one to hit, so now I'm only hitting on fours. So fours to hit. That definitely affected things. <laughs> and then threes to wound run minus one. So three wounds. Pull off three uh, goblins here because nobody's in cover. Is it minus? Plus one um, because of his shields here. So he's going to get sixes three times. Three times. There's more than ten oh, guys left. Come on, another one. One, so two guys. Two. Mighty kick into your uh, war boss. Normally it would hit on a three plus, but it's a four plus because of the netter. Wound. Three plus to wound. Wounds. It's D3 wounds. I'm oh, sorry, it's D6 wounds. He takes five. I think it is minus two because it's a mighty kick. Yeah, minus two save. Get shield, he didn't have, you had the double-handed weapon there, so five oh, plus right. goes to nothing. Well, you can't roll a six, or sorry, a five plus basically if you're minus two. And it's D3 actually, not D6, it's my other thing, it's D6. That's the other thing right now, <laughs> so it is um, d uh, on a four normally, so on a five right now against your fanatic. Nope. Gigante done. Over to the goblins. He's fighting first, they have two inch reach, so pretty much everybody is in range of my ogres. Six, what, seven attacks? Seven, fives and fours. Fives and fours here. Need two wounds to scrape off some attacks. That's one. one. And then four, so wounds, so I need a four plus save. So wolves four. can actually fight, so fours and fours. He just needs two wounds here to scrape off and over his attacks. Two hits, you got it, fours to wound, get them both. Come on. One, four plus, good, yes. So three, can... I think one, one, Two are gonna have to fight the Liberators. The other one, the other two, three could go into the. Um, sorry, actually, one can fight the Liberators. The other three can all go into Lord Selston if you want. See, I think it's just. I know it's only one model, but 
I don't think I can kill him, right? No, he's got two plus save now because he's not charged. But even with like, even if they all hit and all wound. No, he's got seven wounds, you're right. Yeah, you can't so kill him. I. It's more about doing it dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Hit the liberators. I gotcha. Uh, so that's, uh, what are we saying? Four, uh, it's four guys, so eight attacks. Eight attacks. There's four main dudes on fought. Yeah. Fours and fours from wolves. Okay, so saves. Not okay. bad. They're getting mad. It's five. Mounts go. are always better than the riders. Yeah. Four swoons. Fours again. Come on. One. So it's See? a four plus save with plus one, so I can't reroll my ones, but I'm Iron Gut time. So Iron Gut's piling. Everybody's already within two. Um, <laughs> so that will be three times. Well, this guy would have to pile like go like this, basically, and just spin. <laughs> so his, his his giant tree cutter is in range. Fours and threes from those guys. Fours to hits. Ones, twos, and threes go away. And then threes to wounds. That's gonna be five wounds at minus Saves one. here. Uh, so that's nine wounds. <laughs> on the horn blower. Yeah. So we have over here the goblins and the fanatic who can fight. Nice. Get the fat going. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Swings with the ball and chain. Come on. It's gonna be six. Yes. There it is. Big yes. and threes minus one red and D three wounds per hit. This could just outright kill me. This is why I need those guys to be dead. Yeah. <laughs> so four. So four is not so bad. Four hits. All right. So three, nine wounds. wounds the most. The threes. Come on. So a one, and it's minus two rends. Minus two. So no saves. And then just D3 wounds. D3 wounds. Come on. One. So I've got 11 wounds left. I was hoping. That would have been, that would have been big. Well, you could, like, literally, you just could have carved my knees off. Yeah. So now it's me again. I'm going to do these liberators. Cannon's going to go into the crew. So these three and this guy. So that's going to be eight attacks. Four's to hit, three's to wound. And then threes. So one, one save. I think it's four plus because you're in the, that's right, it's six goes to five because you're in the cup. Nope. Climb into your bully, three attacks, fours and threes, nothing. All right, so these guys not benefiting from Mystical, but they haven't actually had a turn yet. It's just them piling in because they ran up there last turn. I've gotten to do two in a row. So they're not going to reroll wounds, but they're also not going to have to risk what happened to my Retributors, which is rolling a one and standing around having a smoke. <laughs> Everybody pretty much except the champions in range here. I was going to fours here with 13 attacks with spears. Thousand fours. Now you've got the special double damage thing when you roll sixes yeah, to six wound. Is to wound. Because uh, uh, the boss's ability doesn't go away when he dies. It's during his next hero phase will end. So, two. Yeah. <laughs> Double sixes. Yeah, Get I'm it. Double it. sixes. Box guys. What? Oh, and they so both wound. Yeah, All right. So, so it's a, a five eight. plus save for the one that's double damage. Nope. Take two wounds. And then for the other one. Uh, nope. So I take three wounds total. Wounds remaining. Celestin. Murder these guys. Tempestus hammer. Three attacks into the wolf riders. Threes. And twos. I right, Tempestus, you... Three times, Ren minus one. So this is Ren minus one. So normally he get plus one to his six plus. No, you have a five plus normally. You're four plus because you're in cover. And then minus one is five plus. That's right. You're losing your shield bonus, which would have made three plus, but it's because yeah. you only have five guys left. So it's what, five plus? So two fives, yep. Makes one. So D3 wounds. That's everybody. Everybody? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to lose his attacks, and you can nominate somebody. You've got the bully and the three crewmen left over here. So bully and big crew. So crew, three crew attacks, five. Five, five, nothing. Nothing, okay. Bully is... Uh, I have no one left to swing, so you can just skip right to the bully. bully four and four. Cracks him once, force to wound. Crew, they take a casualty. It'll be D6 minus three from the night goblins here. So the goblins, rather, and the crew. Nothing. One. Nope. Everybody. The fanatics can't possibly fail because they're bravery 10. The regular goblins are bravery four, four, and they took four casualties. So this is straight. Just straight, straight fleas. Yep. Yeah. D6 guys flee. Two. Two. Hero phase. This is the bottom of three. Um, there are no goblin heroes. or straight grot heroes left on the table. So he's going to use his once per game ability. Bring on uh, yep. war scroll six. guys within six inches of the eastern edge, which is over here. Uh, that means you can drop on some more wolf boys. They are ranked up, ready to charge my liberator. Still technically fire. I think it has a minimum range though. I don't think you can shoot six guys. Yeah, so yeah, you can't so shoot the guys you're in combat with, but you could try and kill my prosecutors. You could kill my ogres, my lord relictor, my gigante. Even he's only got eight wounds left, but you couldn't kill him in one shot. These guys only have three wounds left. If you get a wound through here, you're gonna kill the whole unit. Recover prosecutors on a three plus. Get hit. There we go. So it's a three to uh, wounds. Yeah, three to wound. Cracks there. him. So it's uh, run minus one? Uh, yes. Okay, I believe six here. I'm going to take D6 wounds. Nope, D6 wounds, three plus. You're going to kill that whole unit. Unit deleted. Gun's done. Let's do some charges. We need box cars. You can do this. There's no charge bonus. They get run bonuses instead. So get some box cars right now. Oh, <laughs> so close. 
<laughs> you hang tight. So you get to pick the combat we do first, though. We've got this, and then over here we've got this mess. I think the fanatic probably wants to go first because yeah, he could he, potentially he could six. he could murder my giant. Jacks. Six. Three is D three wounds per hit. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Three is to wounds. Come on. One. It's so run minus two though. Minus two. So I just get D three wounds. It's starting to hurt. And oh, and he's got go. three at five left. This giant is not feeling good. <laughs> right. He took an entire that's goblin army with itself. <laughs> and they're like, you traitor! What are you talking about, man? I live in a weird heaven place now. Giant, you're gonna get killed by goblins if you don't do this. It's expired because of the new turn. 2d6 attacks now, not 3d6 because I'm so wounded. So let's see how many I get. I'm gonna get six. Hitting on threes, wounding on threes, but hitting uh, on fours because of your netter. Netters. That's right. So this is against the unit. So there's three, wounding on threes, two, uh, at Ren minus one. Uh, I don't think this. Is there 10 left? 12. 12, you're still saves. Nope. You kick the uh, Fnatic on a four plus now because of the netter. I do it. Uh, on a three, I'll wound him. Dump. And then I'm gonna try and do the same thing with my Ed butt, but into the unit on a five now. I hit, and then it's on a three I wound. I wound, and then it's D3 wounds. This is red minus two, so no saves. Oh, Two more guys. Oh, that's right. No, 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 it's not on him. It's the oh. unit. I did. Oh, it's the unit. Yeah, I missed him, and I attacked the oh, unit with the other okay. one. Uh, so it's right in minus three, so no save. So yeah, it's two guys. Two guys die. He is yeah. now attacked. Ryan stuffs one in the pants. Uh, <laughs> if I roll two plus, I stuff a goblin in my pants. I do. Oh no, I can stuff him in my pants. I'm stuffing him in my pants. <laughs> Fanax in my pants, man. All right, Fanax in the pants. <laughs> yeah, before I made my attacks, we're gonna put him back because I, it's not. Afterwards, and I only remembered it afterwards. I've been forgetting the entire game. Um, but yeah, no, if I roll a dice, I roll double his wound territory. So basically, on a two plus, I stuff in my pants. I will not forget that next round. These guys haven't swung, so it's more in his interest to fight with either the bully or the uh, crew. I think the bully's got better so the bully's stats. Got better stats. Fours and fours. So fours, and fours. Uh, Cox, you can roll it again. It's a potato. So one, and then force to wounds. Wounds. I get a four plus save. Good. Um, I will then choose them to fight back, basically, because why not? Uh, everybody that can is going to go into the crew. Uh, one of the crewmen is actually up here, weirdly enough, standing on the machine. <laughs> so uh, these two will be in, and then he'll be in. He'll have to fight the bully and sell the prime. Attacks into the crew, hit on fours. Doesn't matter. And then five attacks into the uh, the bully, hit on fours. A little bit better, winning on threes. One wound, one save. Like your five goes to a four for cover. Save. He's got four wounds. He lives. Yeah, it's the crew, that's right. So, yeah, it's just the crew. And then your night goblins. Uh, number three left. There's nothing. Adds up to five though. <laughs> and the one on the floor is a five, and then a five to wound. Yeah. You got it. Four plus. So you got little goblins can now swing on my gigante. Seven attacks into them. It's gonna be hitting on fives, going on fours. You need five wounds here, and I die. Ooh, there's four. And then going on fours. There's one. one. Five plus save. Don't take okay, so uh, that's going to be battle shock time. I took no casualties over in this fight, so but you took some big five casualties. So I think it's straight dice. Uh, plus one, I think, because you have bravery. Four. Six plus four fleas. Or four. D six plus one fleas. I forgot to roll for this mystical thing right here, and they actually couldn't have fought. Can't fight. So you get that wound <laughs> back. Uh, yes, I would go to five. Roll for your fanatic as well. He's Four. good, so he actually would have rerolled his wounds. So you didn't wound me twice, I think. So do yeah, two so more. Yeah, one. I think I got. You, you got. You hit me at least three times. Three times. I think. So, I think so, so roll, times. roll two more wounds. In, in threes. One didn't more. get it. One more, and then it's D three. So just do D three more. So I got one wound back, but then I took three. So now I'm at two wounds. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Do, do, oh, do, 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 do. And there we go. Two wounds. Plus one. That's right. This is bad. So four guys. Please don't do anything for me. <laughs> One in the fourth turn. Let's see who gets the initiative. We both need this. I got a five, you get a one. He's Lord of the Host again from Lord Solistant. Uh We are going to do a healing storm I guess no we're gonna do a lightning storm on that fanatic on the three plus we do mortal wounds he's exploded right. befuddled yep <laughs> they stand there eating burgers still and the gigante no he's good he's rerolling his wounds he's gonna start running 
he's going to go 10 inches this turn. So six, oops, and then four more. Lord Celestin yeah. is going to go 10, 13, six, and then a little, six again, and then one, six, and then one more. They're going to go 12, so six, and then six again. Over to there, into their move. We'll run these, ah, uh, we'll not run these Liberators. So yeah, we'll not run these Liberators. Yeah. We're going to walk over here and be like, what's up, goblins? We hear that you like to party. Did you know that we also like to party? Running. Uh, I got no shooting because he ran and my prosecutors are dead. And that means charges. Let's do this, Liberators. We got sixes to get in. That's Ooh. double ones. He's going to do one thing first of all. He's going to shove one of these netters in his pants on a two plus. <laughs> he does. So a netter just gets shoved in his pants. Like no, I get to pick. Oh, you, I oh, pick you get the model. Pick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so just pick a model in the lunch. So I'm just going to take one of those netters. Okay. D6 okay. attacks now. Three. So I'm still at minus one to hit though. So I'm hitting on fours. And I'm wounding on threes. So one at minus one. So I think you're not getting a save because you're no. not within not 10 guys. It is on a four plus, so it's a five plus. Nope. And then the other one's on a three plus, so it's a four plus. Hits. Wounds. And this one's red minus three, so it just gets the last guy. Crew or bully. Bully's going first. Fours and fours. Nope. Uh, back at you, Lily, fighting the crew again on fours. And then hammers wound on threes. So that's two wounds at uh, just no rend. So you get your six plus saves becomes a five because you're in cover. So two on fives. Nope, that just pulls off, I guess, the double stand. That makes the most sense. Uh, and then I've got five attacks into the bully because the prime's there. Fours. Oh, they're mad. And then <laughs> uh, threes. So two. He's got five normally, so six. Oh. Four, yeah, four actually. He's in cover. So one, he takes a wound, he's got three left. Right. So you've got the crew, you got one crewman, yeah, fives and fives. Hits, Ooh. and doesn't wound. Four, uh, sorry, battle shock first, uh, bravery four. Uh, he makes them immune to battle shock. Oh, that's awesome. Hero phase, you've got no, well, you've got one hero left, he doesn't have a hero ability. Yep. Um, you've got movement. Moving up to stay with set of three. And they can all kind of wrap out there so that everybody can make their big charge moves. You might as well just broaden, yeah, yeah, it's gonna broaden it a little bit, you got lots of room. Who you want to shoot? Uh, juicy targets are, you've got some ogres in the open, you got a giant with only two wounds left, and then you've got the unit of uh, liberators there, but they're in the ogres on a three. Three. Hits, oh, only three, three at wounds. Ren minus one, so you get a five plus save here. No, D6 wounds. So two plus you kill a guy, six you kill two guys. Actually, yeah, it's six wounds. Kill both the shooting, so charging in. They just need a three here. All day. Here's it's 11 attacks, hitting on fives, but winning on threes now. Fives here. Oh, you know what's funny? Were you within three of that at the beginning of the, the turn? Because you'd be rolling your wounds here. Roll a dice. Pretty sure you were. Yeah, you're rerolling all your wounds. So that's a lot of hits, because they are now ensorcelled. We forgot that was mystical. So that's that many hits. Yep, and then winning on threes, but re-rolling failed ones because of mystical. Because you're ensorcelled. Reroll. Nicely done. Five wounds. Save my liberty issue. I reroll ones. I'll take one wound. That's a guy dead. And then you've got uh, 20 attacks from wolves. Fours and fours. Here we go. Rerolling wounds. Hitting with the wolves. Taking away the ones and twos and threes. Ooh. Not great, but not terrible. Fours. E. So six out of 20. And then rerolling wounds though. Fours and fours, reroll your misses. There, there. Oh, Got one there. more. Uh, that'll be four wounds. wounds. All right. So four saves, four plus, rerolling ones. Rerolling ones. So another whole dead guy. We will pull him. That looks a lot better. <laughs> okay, so fighting back. We are just gonna pour everything we have from these two guys into the Bully, so that's five attacks, fours and threes. And then threes, so one. one. Four plus one. right now, because you're in cover. Nope, he's gonna take a win, he's got two left. two left. And this Lib's gonna attack the uh, last Kerman. Hits once, three plus. 
few rounds. Uh, you've taken no casualties, so you don't make any battle shock. I'm within 24 of my right, yeah. Lord Celestant, yeah. so no, I don't make battle shock either. These guys attack? Oh, did they? Oh, I no, thought no, you did they, already. No. no, that's right. Yeah, yeah, because you charge. You so what are the, the, the last thing? Like yeah, yeah, do your thing. Fives? Nope. And Bully, two, two dice on fours. Potato. And hits. Does it wound? No. no. Okay. Still, no battle shock <laughs> here, and no battle shock anywhere else. Guys, do you make battle shock tests because they are not storm casts. Um, so they have a courage of seven, so a bravery of seven, and took they two. took two. So if I roll a six, I'm gonna lose somebody. I do. So who's the guy? Put us at the top of five, and that will mean we are rolling for initiative again. Both sides kind of wanting it. Ta da! Two. Oh. Twos and twos. Two. That's a tie. Go again. Come on, you got it! Yes. You're going first. No heroes again. Well, none with a hero ability, so yeah. no movement either. So shooting. Now the, the, the range in this gets shorter the less guys there are, so there's no one to pull back the elastic band anymore. They can only shoot, what, like 12? 20. 20? 20. Oh, okay. So you can only shoot 50. So I think I can... So you can still, can still, you can still kill this ogre, maybe. Uh, 20... So yeah, I can hit basically any of these four units. Yep. We'll try and kill the last uh, ogre? Uh, yeah, we'll try and kill the last ogre. Okay, he's got the worst armor save of the bunch there, so threes to hit. Hits, three, and then three to wounds. Wounds, I need a five plus here. I'm gonna take D6 wounds. No, we'll make it. Yeah. Some hog riders, hog riders. Everybody's trying to get within two. Everybody's now within two, and all the doggies are within one. They get six inch pylons, which is the pounce rule, which is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Into my liberators, uh, fives and fours. They've lost the reroll for ensorcel because they're not, not in range, and they've no longer charged, so they don't get the plus one wound. So fives and fours. Fives. Two. Two. And then fours. There's one potato rolled again. Nope, oh, so one for boss. We're good. Range, so that's gonna be, uh, I guess, 10 more. 12, sorry, 20 more. This guy right here is not gonna be in range. Oh. Yo! Bull. So much better than the riders. So much better than the riders. I think these liberators are going down. Uh, and then you've got forced wound. There's four, four plus saves. We roll ones. That's a potato over there. Nope, so two, so that's a dead guy. Take him off. Whoa, come out of here, you. All right, so fighting back, I will have two in the prime, or sorry, one in the prime, they're all gonna go into this. Uh, Bullies, fours. There's two, that's all we needed, and then, oh, actually we need three, Never mind. Two wounds though, so two purple saves. Nope, so now dead. you've got your bully and your crewman left. I guess your crewman can actually pile off this thing, really, if you want to just do him, because I have not anybody fighting back. And now he gets to fight, too. <laughs> I am your doom diver! <laughs> so five, nope. nope. And then just the bully. Two. Fours. And then fours. Okay. Nope. Real ones, though. Nope. So they got wounds, and one of the guys got a wound on The top of five. Um, I'm immune to battle shock yet again. You've taken no casualties, and that makes it my hero phase. Uh, we're gonna bring the lightning, and we're gonna bring the lightning on. Let's just say the wolf riders. Yeah, we're doing the wolf riders. So on a three plus, uh, hit you, D three mortal wounds. One, so one guy gets wounded. More to the host it up again, because why would I ever take battle shock test if I didn't have to? Let's see if these guys get dumb again. They don't finally. Let's see if these guys get dumb. The iron gut just stands there. I kept the Lord Celestine uh, far enough away, and the gigante. Is also right, so now the movement phase. Lord Celestin's gonna rock the party right, and he's gonna go right over here. Another four inches, just staying outside of three of you. So he's gotta be outside of three. Just that. Uh, these guys waddle a huge four inches, so they'll end up right there, and all their friends will follow them. Giant doesn't feel good, so he's only moving three inches a turn now, because he's like crippled, like he's completely crippled. There's him with five, and just Bring coming over the building. Uh, yeah, I might as well run actually. Thanks for pointing that out. I'll move eight, so that's six, and then two more to here, and they'll be in behind. And they run two. Him with another six, because why would I not? <laughs> <We're three inches. laughs> I'm limping, I'm tired. So those all ran, and Lord Celestin, sorry, not Lord Celestin, um, Lord Relictor, he's gonna go over here, four inches. Actually, he's just gonna go straight into the freaking woods. <laughs> straight lines are faster, ass. So we have a nice, juicy 
flame target right here. So uh, on a four plus on your bully, nope. On your crew, nope. And on the wolf riders, yep, D3. That's three, so that's one floating wound and then one more guy. There they are. And now we do the charging. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is my retributors, because they need to get at least an eight here to get in the melee. And Lord Salston's probably okay no matter what he does. They get a 11. Here come the death machines. So 11 is lots of room. He's gonna go like this actually. 11 and then 11 and put himself right there. Lord Salston's now gonna roll snake eyes because that's just how he rolls. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and they're in the way, <laughs> big idiot. Get some work done. He's gonna go nine, he's having it. So he's in the middle of here. Like so. Be everybody that can do anything. Uh, and we're gonna pick melee. I'm just gonna go right to lightning yep. hammer. <laughs> lightning hammers, every six I roll to hit is just two mortal wounds. So if I drop seven sixes, I just I think it delete the unit. Did I get no sixes? Potato? Nope, and they hit on threes. And then they wound. Oh no, they're ensorcelled. Yeah, they're ensorcelled. They're gonna be all these wounds too. On threes, but they all wounds. Uh, so that's rend minus one. I think you have a five naturally. Yeah. Because you have more than five guys. Yep. We're on sixes right now. Damage two. Uh, so make two. So just two guys get pasted. Oh, it's a two each. Uh, from there. And it's my champion though. And they're gone. And so now you can swing six because they can. But towards the closest model. So they have to go into that liberator. Wolves first. That's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and liberators. Because that way his spear attacks can go somewhere else because they have a two inch reach. It's fours and fours. Not too shabby. That's four hits and then forced wounds. One, two. So four will saves. Nope, fell on both. So that's a dead guy and one wound left on the prime. Uh, now you can divide up your attacks. You got two guys that would have to fight the liberators really anyway. And then. I think maybe three guys would have to do it, and the rest of these guys could probably fight my wretch. Four dice into the last liberator from the spears. So fives. Nope. Nothing. And then these guys, you could try and finish them off, or you can put them into the retributors. Yeah, might as well try and finish them off. Okay. Oh, sorry, three now. Fives and fours. One. Just need that one. Four plus. You got it. Fours. No, I live. It's over to me. Uh, I am going to do Lord Relictor. He's already within an inch of the bully and the last crewman, so he's just gonna do all his attacks on the bully. Threes, all hit. Threes to wounds. Two, he run minus one. Is he the, oh, he wasn't close enough. So you run minus one, just fives. Nope, take one, down to two to go, and then your crewman. Bully. Because you wanna fight. You can finish off the one wound guy yeah, that hasn't fought yet. Hit the, He's uh, got three attacks, he could kill you. So fours and fours. And then force to wounds. Wounds, four plus. Nope, I'm good. Uh, and that's over to me again. And I'm gonna, of course, swing onto your bully on fours. And then on threes, one, three plus, sorry, four plus save. Not gonna kill you, but it might take you down. Nope, you're down two wounds still. And then your crewman can fight somebody. I think it's gonna have to be Lord Raptor because yeah. he's the closest. Five and five. Doesn't matter. No. So I'm all within 24. So no battle shock for me. So it's battle shock for you, sir. Guys. You've got uh, courage four. You took four casualties. So it's just D6 guys flee. This could be it if you're all six. Nope. Three, three guys. Any three. Turn six. So now, what would you like to do? Initiative. Okay. Big dice. You're going first! Mm. Yeah, just skip right to the shooting phase, no hero phase. You're gonna go on to who you wanna finish uh, off. We'll try the ogre again in case I miss. I can, uh, okay, well, here, here's what I would do, this is my advice. He's gonna have to test for befuddlement again. They're not. There's five wounds in this unit total, and they have the exact same save. Oh, okay. So I, I think maybe trying to kill the liberators right now is a better idea, because he could still paralyze himself. And he's just one guy. Yeah. He'd also shoot the giant if you want. He's got no, two wounds good. left. Okay. I think we're doing the giant has a worse save, and he could fall on somebody if you get a good roll. Right. I'd go giant. Yeah, I'll go giant. Okay. Three plus. Three plus. That would be good. Come on. So your combat phase, you get to pick who goes first. You pile him in, okay. And they can try and swing on my prime, I guess, and kill him, or they could all go into my retributors before they delete your unit. Or you could just split them up. 
He's gonna go first. Six fours and fours. He just needs one wound on this prime. There's two. Ooh. That's a lot of ones. And then wounding on fours. Sorry, fives and fours rather. Um, but no wounds. Yeah, no wounds. And then you got three, four attacks with your spears, fives and fours. Who do you want to hit? Still trying to kill this. Okay, fives and fours. Just need one. There's one. Four plus wounds. Wounds. Four plus save. Dead. Oh no, I'm alive. Sorry. Hey, we're gonna do Mr. Unit of these guys. <laughs> They're gonna <laughs> swing seven times into the Wolf Riders. And if I get three sixes, the unit just explodes. I get no sixes. Uh, now, I am ensorcelled until my next hero phase, so I get to reroll these wounds still. Threes, they all wound. So three at minus one. You don't have five guys left, so you don't actually get a save. Uh, so sorry, five is normally plus four? one. Yeah, four on six plus. That's eight wounds. <laughs> Come on. You can try and kill me, fours and fours. One hit, fours to wound. Get him, this prime just won't die again. Nope. Uh, and then my prime fights can try and kill your bully. Fours. And then threes. Wounds him. Four plus save, because you're in cover. Nope, Ooh. he's down to one. Lord Relictor. He's got five. New. No. Swing on your bully four times. Threes. And then threes at run minus one. So three wounds, three five plus saves. He is... Probably dead. Exploded, yeah. yeah. So the bully is gone. Battle shock. They didn't take any casualties to the crew, so yeah. they're actually okay right now. Um, we're gonna load the host again. I'm gonna do um, the oh, lightning on him. Zap him. I get him. Mortal wounds. He dies. Just one mortal wound, but he's only got one wound. wound. Yeah. Um, and then yes. I'm actually engaged with him, so he can't move, but the retributors can. Everybody's just gonna come beat up on your war machine because that's what we do. ensorcelled has gone, by the way, on here. I should roll for ensorcelled over here. Does he eat grass? No. Does he eat grass? No. Everybody else can move, but I'm not really worried. Uh, I think that's all my movement. Oh, sorry, I'll just move the Lord Salston over here, because why wouldn't I? Uh, and then shooting, I'll flame this thing. I miss it. And then I will charge these guys. They go in. Lots of room. I will charge Lord Salston. Uh, one plus, don't you dare, five <laughs> inches. Do I make it again? I do just, like so. Uh, um, and oh, shoot, that was his. Where's Liberator's got a pile in. He's already engaged. This thing's engaging oh. everybody. I have to retreat to move away. Um, so we'll do. It can't even fight. So I'm just going to do the retributors and hopefully cave it in. So I need sixes here. If I get a couple sixes, it explodes. Uh, two sixes, it's four. It's dead. All right, there you go. So sudden assault ending in a stormcast. Azirian Thunderguard win. Uh, I actually got to get my Iron Guts that I freshly painted into <laughs> combat for once, which is pretty great. Um, and we got to see what Night Goblins do. Now, this actually game has me kind of reconsidering Lords of War format of 25 wound scroll caps. I think 30 wounds is probably good because there's a lot of units that only become maxed out in their capabilities once they get to 30. They don't really stay there very long in the game because as yeah, soon as they take one, one casualty, guy, yeah. then they're going to be gone. Um, but I think that's worth <coughs> doing. And that's just five more guys. Like it doesn't, it wouldn't, the things that would affect would be things like my Iron Guts all of a sudden getting an extra guy. But I'm not really worried about that. I'm still, it's only seven then in a unit like Iron Guts or Trolls or whatever. Um, it doesn't make them completely insane basically to try and charge. But it does use uh, let some of those one wound or one wound units like the uh, Moon Clan and you know rats and stuff like that kind of compete. So yeah, um, and oh my gosh, uh, fanatics are terrifying. They two of them kneecap my giant, and my giant's like oh, oh like like trying to stumble yeah. around for the rest of the game. Uh, your Doom Diver, once you figured out kind of like go for a clump of guys, yeah, and you started firing in there was really good. It killed most of my ogres actually, almost all of them when they caught them out of cover. Uh, and then your bully was the hero. <laughs> that guy lasted longer than anything else in your army. He, he was insane. That dude just refused to die. He fought liberators for the entire game. Um, it was definitely an interesting mission. That This was the first mission that was kind of to the death that yeah. I played in a battle plan. Um, it, it required you to kill all your opponent's models. There was no other victory condition. Um, like the last one that you and I played, it was still kill all my models, but it was specific models. It yeah. wasn't the whole army. Yeah, it was like right, right. Kill, kill this like unit of like sort of like interlopers that are caught out and, and my reinforcements are coming in. So yeah, it was, we had to like, the only thing that I felt about that was 
I had to actually hunt down your war machine, <laughs> right? That was kind of grindy. Like, and, and the fact that I was a Thunderstrike Brotherhood meant that it only went six turns, but it could have gone, if this was not a Thunderstrike Brotherhood and I was walking across the table to get oh, you, yeah. it could have gone way longer, like yeah, way, way longer. Yeah, I, I Cause I would be, well, cause you'd be back there yeah. forever basically catapulting me and I'd be running across the board. So anyway, that was a fun battle plan. Um, we'll hopefully see you guys again for more Realms of Conflict next week. Thanks again for coming to Mark. Yeah, no problem. I always enjoy playing you. Sure. I love playing your Grots. I'm super excited to see Grots in action. They were a lot meaner than I thought they were going to be. Yeah. Um, those Wolf Riders. I love that. Yes, I'm yes. Try Spider Rider. They got yes. twenty of those at home. And this was your first, uh, actually, two games of Age of Sigmar last week's and this week's. Yeah. Um, so he's still kind of figuring out how do you combine all the stuff to like maximum effect and like take the most of your keywords and stuff like that. Um, and now his brain's percolating. So we'll <laughs> yeah. see what he brings in the next time he comes to see for me. Sure. Uh, so thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you with more Age of Sigmar. Until then, happy gaming.